Cindy out of here with my artsy endeavors. How are you doing today? Um, I'm doing pretty well. I am here again to play around with um, my puzzle pieces. I don't know. Wow. I'm just going to call it puzzle pieces. Um, so I, I'm going to take today, let's do this one. Looks interesting. So the first thing we're going to do, this is the pick and choose puzzle piece. I got to keep this thing out for a while. First thing we're going to do is we're going to sand off a little bit of our, um, what do you call it, Gl uh, glossiness. It doesn't take a lot, just enough so you get some, if you see the, I don't know if you can see it, there's little tiny, I don't know if you can see it, little tiny lines anyways, it shows where it's, it's been um, sanded. So anyways, we're going to do that. Take this, wipe it down. All right. And now we're going to do our pick and choose cards. So we're going to pick five of them. Oh, come out. If they want to come out of their bag. Come on, get down in there. Oh. These are so hard to shuffle and to deal with because they're so thick. But that's what happens when I laminate everything. So, but it worked, you know. Well, let's go ahead and pick our five. There's so many of them, it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to get the same ones, I don't imagine. All right, so let's pick our five. So here's one. Use fabric or ribbon. Two. Use ephemera or scrapbook paper. Three. Use ink and add water or use spray ink and add water. Okay. Four. Use black gesso or white gesso. And five. Add an envelope or a pocket. Oh boy. <laughs> this sounds like a fun one, doesn't it? When, when I see these, I kind of get an image, but then I'm like, oh, what do I do? Um, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be really interesting. I get to put all that on here. So I think I'm going to start out maybe with white gesso. I'm going to use some ink. Either ink or spray ink. I don't know. I think ink. Um, use ephemera or scrapbook paper. Hmm. Add an envelope or a pocket. And then use fabric or ribbon. This is going to be interesting. I have to think about this one. So let's just start out using white gesso. There's my white gesso. Um, let me see if I can get a little bigger one. Let's just get a little bigger one. Now it doesn't say I have to coat the whole thing in white gesso, but you know, I'm just going to use white gesso. So, um, yeah, I could use this in other ways. I could use it as paint. I could use it as, you know, um, something to stamp with or whatever. But I'm just going to use the white gesso as it's meant to be. So there's one coat of white gesso. This one I want to make all white, so we're going to do it again. <coughs> Envelope or a pocket? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't use a lot of envelopes or pockets. All right, let's just do another quick. That's not as well as this one is. That's dry, it seems like. I don't know. This gesso is really thick. Um, this isn't the actual gesso that's in it, I don't believe. I put some other kind of gesso in it, but I like this container, so I kept the container and just refilled it with some other gesso I had hanging around. I used to be the type of crafter or artist, whatever you want to call it, creative, um, that whenever I saw something on clearance, I'd buy it. And, you know, I've been doing so much purging in my studio, um, in my art room, that you know, I can't do that anymore. I just have too much crap. So, I've been actually taking stuff um, down to a local charity type thing. And let me tell you, whoever's getting it, they're having a blast. 
because there's a lot of stuff that I've been sending out of this room. Bags and bags, and I'm talking like the big black construction bags. I've taken probably four of them out of here so far. Oops. So, there's my white gesso. We're done with that one. Now I need to use ink and add water. I'm going to let this gesso dry a little bit. I think I'm going to use my um, Daily Rowney inks. A little spray bottle and see what happens. Here's my spray bottle. Let me grab those inks. Them right to you. Okay, what happened to my inks? Hold on. I've been moving stuff around and it's like crazy. Let's see, what color do we want to use? What else do we have to do to this? We have to use scrapbook paper or ephemera. Add an envelope, a pocket, and use fabric or ribbon. I think I'm going to use these little scraps that I have. So I'm going to use scrapbook paper, but let's get some ink. I'm just trying to think about what color. Well, let's do it. These are still good. Oh my gosh, it's been a long time since I've used them. So, what I'm going to do, I have this old telephone book here that I use when I need to um, do stuff that's going to get messy. Alright, so we're going to use ink. And maybe a drop down here. That's the thing about this stuff is you don't have to use much of it. Okay. Now we're going to have to get that to dry. So that's going to be a few minutes. Let me go ahead and dry this and I'll be right back. Alright, so I dried my ink. It's pretty well dry. There's a couple spots a little bit wet, but that's okay. So I've been thinking about these. So it says use scrap paper or ephemera. I'm going to use scrapbook paper and this is actually a piece of cardstock with a bunch of scrapbook paper and stuff on it. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tear it. I just want some little pieces to go on here. So let's see, I'm just going to throw one piece there. I'm going to use this glue just because there's not a lot of room I have to glue. So let's throw that there. Stay down. This glue is amazing. Um, let's use this little piece. Put it here. And I want one more little piece of this. Put it right there. Now remember, I don't have a lot of room on this thing, so that's why we're doing small pieces. Alright, so that's done, so let's put these scraps back here. So I've got scrapbook paper, so we'll turn that one over. Now, I was thinking about <coughs> um, an envelope, what the heck is this? Gesso, I think. Um, an envelope or a pocket, and then fabric or ribbon. So what I did is, I have this, this is actually a hotel. Um, it was for hotel keys and I really like this hello so I'm going to cut this hello out I'm going to cut this down I'm actually going to cut this down too and what I'll do is I'll glue it right here along the bottom and make it back into a pocket. So I'm just going to glue it back together on the bottom. Alright, so I have a little like pocket here, right? So I was thinking about putting that somewhere on here. 
don't know. Maybe I'll put it this way. And it says, the world is yours. Make the blah, blah, blah. All right, so let me throw this up in my scraps. Now, so I've got a hello. And then it says, you the fabric or ribbon. So I decided I was going to use this little stuff. And I think this stuff is kind of cute. Because it's small enough that I can use it on this fabric or on this piece. So let's use a few pieces of this. Let's see where it goes. Let's try. Let's try a piece right here. What I'm using it for actually is just to kind of decorate. Let's put one right here. You notice I'm putting them over the paint. I don't mean to. Paper. Let's put one right here. Whoops. I didn't tack that down yet. Crazy girl. Crazy. So not a lot going on in my life. Just kind of chilling and dealing with, you know, whatever pain I need to deal with each day. But other than that, I'm just hanging out. All right, so I used my ribbon. Well, I added a pocket and I used my fabric or ribbon. But then I got thinking about it. I got a pocket. I need something in it. So I really like these stamps. I want to put it over on to, let's just take a piece of cardstock. I'm going to glue it onto this because I just want it, you know, thicker. So I'm going to glue it onto this. Let's do it on this side. Glue them down. And then that way I actually have um, stickers that are a lot sturdier. Not stickers, but stamps that are a lot sturdier. So I wanted to get a couple of these to put in my little pocket. So I think I'm going to use this one. to put in my little pocket and maybe this one to put in my pocket. So there we go. We have another puzzle piece or pick five puzzle piece and I think I kind of like it. What do you think? Different? Interesting? I'm not sure, but we'll, you know, it works for me. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Again, I will take these prompts and I will make sure that they are in the description box below. And if you have any questions, let me know. It's going to be very interesting to see how this whole puzzle goes back together again. Like I said, if you want to try this, just, you know, find somebody that's either got grandkids or, or, you know, little kids that have no longer interested in their little puzzle and see if you can pick one up or even like the dollar store. I guarantee you they have these in the dollar store. So try something like that, pick it up, and I'm still not done with that. I don't like the fact that it's just mm, there. So we're going to put a little bit of black around it. Um, as I was saying, pick up, you know, one in the dollar store or, like I said, you can find them anywhere. Um, check a little thrift store or whatever. And play along with me because I think this is going to turn out really interesting and really fun. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue these together. Oops, get back here, you. And I'm going to glue them into the pocket. There we go. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you on the next puzzle piece. Take care. Bye.